Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. Uh, I did not intentionally abandon this channel, I promise you. Just accidentally abandoned it. Uh, the thing is, I realized I just hadn't been buying Blu-rays for a while there. Uh, the main thing I was focusing on was TV show seasons. That's right, I'm still going hard on the TV show seasons. I know, it's uh, mainly from Second and Charles, because, you know, the thing about Second and Charles is, uh, their Blu-ray prices are usually pretty bad, you know, very questionable prices. But the TV show seasons, on the other hand, for the most part, very good prices on those. So uh, that's really what I've mainly been picking up, and I didn't want to make a video just showing a bunch of DVD TV show seasons, you know. But lately, I have picked up a lot of Blu-rays. I got a lot of stuff to get through, so I'm going to make this fast. Um, but first, I want to say... Uh, it is October 2nd, yes, that's right, Our People's Holiday, October. Um, my favorite month of the year, really, because I just, I, I try to hold off on the horror movies, I try to save them all for October, because, as I've said before, I'm one of those people, every October, I, I watch purely horror movies, every day. My goal is to watch at least one horror movie a day, throughout the month of October. Uh, but if I can do more, then I do more. And uh, as to the little change of scenery, I just watched Drag Me to Hell. That's right. Uh, one of my favorites. Just a very, very fun movie. Um, Sam Raimi, top of his form. Very good directing. And uh, just a really great movie. And this is a little screenshot from the movie. From the opening scene. And, uh, you know, I, I think I decided this would be a little bit better for the background, you know. Just change it up a little bit. Change the scenery, you know. Um, I think from now on I'll probably just find a cool screen grab from a movie I'm watching and use that. But yeah, so also very soon here, probably in the next couple days, maybe tomorrow, I'm going to make a video where I'm going to show you all all the horror movies I'm going to be watching throughout the month of October. And um, I already got my list, so I'm ready to go through it with you all. And I'm really excited for that. But anyways, let's get on to the hall so first we're gonna start off with the second and charles pickups it's a pretty big stack here and uh, i'm just gonna breeze right through these none of these are blu-rays these are all tv show dvds whatnot so i'm just gonna breeze right through these um and then we'll get on to the blu-rays the goody so first better call saul season three i've decided to start picking up these better call saul seasons and obviously i know the show is on netflix that's where I've watched it. But the thing is, this is one of my favorite shows, uh, next to Breaking Bad, obviously. And if you saw my video where I showed the Breaking Bad Barrel Blu-ray box set, um, that box set is packed to the gills with special features. There is just a plethora of special features on that box set. And I really enjoy watching the special features. They're a lot of fun, really cool. So I decided to start picking these up to uh, check out the special features on those. Looking forward to that. And then, uh, these are kind of all mixed together. Let's see. Best of the Johnny Cash show. Kind of weird. Uh, I wasn't really expecting to find that, but once I saw it, I don't know. It's got a lot of great performances on it. Uh, Neil Young, Creedence Clearwater Revival, Bob Dylan, Derek and the Dominoes. So, a lot of good stuff. Looking forward to checking that out. And then, these are just a lot of SpongeBob DVDs. I do still watch SpongeBob. It's a great show, at least the first couple seasons. Still hilarious, you know. And then this is actually the uh, the complete first season. Now this is probably the biggest part of my childhood as any TV show ever. You know, I watched this show more than any show when I was a kid. And um, these these DVDs these are really cheap, um, but a lot of nostalgia in these because I used to pick these up at Blockbuster all the time. When I was a kid, I went to Blockbuster once a week. And whenever I couldn't uh, decide on a movie to pick up, I would always go for the old standby Spongebob DVDs. So, I don't know. Just really nostalgic for me. A lot of my pickups are very based on nostalgia. And then this was kind of just a random oddity. Family Guy DVD Blast freaking sweet trivia game. I don't know. It was cheap. And uh, the box is in good condition. So, I don't know. Just kind of a weird thing. Huge Family Guy fan. This I was happy about. The Simpsons Season 3. I was really happy to find this. The box is in pretty good condition. And uh, I think now I only need about four more seasons until I've completed my Simpsons collection. 
and then some more SpongeBob season two, and then just a couple more random collections, and then two seasons of Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Still trying to collect all those, season five and season six. So that's all for Second and Charles. Now we can move on to the Blu-rays. All right, so we'll start with the Barnes & Noble Criterion Sale Hall. I only picked up three things. Uh, if you don't know about it, every July and November, Bar Barnes & Noble has 50% off all Criterions. DVD or Blu-ray, 50% off all around. Great deal. So I picked up three that I was really looking for. You know, these were the three I really wanted to get the most. And that's Bottle Rocket, Wes Anderson's very first feature film. Very fun movie. Very just hilarious film. Great casting. And Rushmore. Probably, I'd say this is my second favorite Wes Anderson movie next to The Royal Tenenbaums. Um, this is also just a very, very fun movie. Really good story. Some great casting. Bill Murray, Jason Schwartzman. A lot of great music, too. That's, that's one thing I love about Wes Anderson. Very good music taste. And then this one I was really excited about. Night of the Living Dead. I, I needed some more Romero in my collection, you know? And I obviously will be adding this to my October list and uh yeah i just i needed some more romero in my collection it's a very very cool box set it's uh it's got a poster inside which i'm not going to open up but it's a cool poster and uh yeah i just i didn't have enough romero in my collection so this was probably top of my list for the criterion sale um this thing i got on ebay a while back really excited about it the aviator steelbook one of my favorite movies just very very good movie definitely high up on the list of favorite martin scorsese movies and in my opinion in my humble humble opinion this is leonardo dicaprio's finest performance i might get a little flack for saying that but it's just my opinion and i did recently see once upon a time in hollywood great movie a lot of fun really hilarious movie Highly recommended, obviously. I'm sure you've all seen it by now. It's been out for a long time. But yeah, this is a really cool steelbook. And um, it's my first UK import steelbook, as well as it's my first steelbook that has a plastic sleeve, which I thought was very cool. And uh, I think I got this for maybe like 20 bucks on eBay. Good price. Now, these four things I picked up at Best Buy a while back. So first, you got Grindhouse, The Complete Experience, Planet Terror, and Death Proof, The Steelbook. Very cool. I didn't even know they made a steelbook for this movie until I saw it, but... As I said, I recently saw Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, and ever since then, I've been on a real Tarantino kick. Um, so, once I saw this, I figured I should probably pick that up. I didn't already own it. And then these three, very cool. I got all three of the Toy Story... Uh, 4K Ultra HD steelbooks that they came out with not too long ago. And these are just very cool. I'm not going to open up and get into the artwork because just take too long, but a lot of really cool artwork on these. And these are also a very big part of my childhood. And they, they, they hold up. I watched them uh, once I bought them. I went home and watched them. And they're still a lot of fun. Still very fun. Funny movies. And um, these were $35 a piece. Now, was it worth uh, $110 for all three of those? I say yes, because the thing is, um, I've wanted those movies for a very long time. Some of my favorite animated movies. But the regular Blu-rays for those movies are usually like $20 to $25. And I'm usually just like, eh, $25. But this, you get the 4K and the Steelbook, so I figured it's finally time to pull the trigger on that. Now let's move on. Now, these things I picked up at a pawn shop uh, a couple days ago. I was hunting for horror movies. That's one of my favorite things to do in October is go on a horror movie hunt. But I picked up some non-horror movie stuff, too. First, uh, Family Guy, Partial Terms of Endearment, the Banned from TV episode. Yes. Uh, if you don't know about this, uh, it was banned from TV because it, it deals with abortion and it's kind of a touchy subject. Very funny episode, though, and it was like a dollar, so. There Will Be Blood. I've been wanting this movie for a very long time. Haven't been able to find it, but I finally did, and I knew I had to pick it up. And then, just got some random Jackass 
volume one, volume two, and volume three. Again, they were a dollar a piece, and you know, I like Jackass. It's a very funny show. And uh, so these three are the horror movies that I picked up. The Crazies. Been wanting to see this again for a while. Uh, haven't seen it for a very long time. And American Psycho. Knew I had to get this. I really do enjoy this movie. And I love me some Christian Bale. You all know that. I love me some Christian Bale. My favorite actor, if you didn't know. This one I'm really excited about. My Bloody Valentine 3D. And it actually comes with a pair of unopened, brand spanking new 3D glasses. And I am really excited to check this movie out. I don't think I've ever watched a 3D movie on my TV in my room. So I'm really looking forward to that. It's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, now we're getting towards the end here. Yes, these are the last things, I believe. Um, so these were all FYE pickups. I went to FYE not too long ago. And again, I was looking for some horror movies. I got about three. But first, uh, they had a pretty good deal. They had like a bin of all these TV shows. And it was buy one, get one for a dollar. So I went ahead. I got American Dad Volume 8. Still trying to collect all those. And then Better Call Saul Season 1. And this one's on Blu-ray. Um, personally, I don't really care. Blu-ray or DVD, but glad to get the Blu-ray. And then these three are the horror movies. Got Dawn of the Dead. This is the remake, not the Romero version. But still, pretty good, pretty fun movie. And then these two are very cool. Evil Dead 2 Steelbook. Now, is that not one of the coolest designs for a Steelbook you've ever seen? That is just fantastic once i saw that artwork and i didn't already own this movie so i'm very glad to finally get it and uh this artwork is just amazing it's a, it's a playing card style i believe and uh it's a two disc it's got the dvd and the blu-ray some really cool interior artwork show this real quick yeah very very cool steelbook i believe this was an fye exclusive i might be wrong but very cool and then this thing right here, John Carpenter's The Thing Steelbook. Very, very nice artwork on that. Um, I was looking for, you know, I was looking through their horror movie section, and I just randomly thought of, you know, The Thing. I should look for The Thing. I don't already own that movie. And lo and behold, not only was there The Thing, but there was this awesome steelbook. I didn't even know this steelbook existed, but just incredible artwork. It's got three discs in here. Um, probably some special feature stuff, I don't know, but really looking forward to watching this. I'm going to watch this very soon here. And then the last things I got, just a bunch of t-shirts from FYE. Got this awesome Jaws t-shirt. They still have the deal going, buy one, get one, half off on short sleeve t-shirts. So, got the Jaws shirt, and then I got another Alien t-shirt. Or rather, this an Aliens t-shirt, the sequel. And then these two aren't really movie related, but just really cool shirts. Uh, Jimi Hendrix. And this one was just a very cool design. I thought that was really sweet. So that's all for the haul today, folks. As I said, I'll be back very soon here with my horror movie roundup. All the movies I'm watching throughout the month of October. Really looking forward to that. So until then, thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time.